Hola, Libra Sun, Scorpio Moons, this is your reading for 2018, the first portion of your reading. When you view this is when you were meant to see it. It can be a blip of time or a longer period in 2018. Please have patience regarding these readings. I'm doing 144, 144 in totality. I think I'm up to like 30 now. Um, I'm doing it, excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> I'm doing it in order of most requested in the comments. Please make sure you check my playlist to see that um, what you're requesting has not already been done. It's tedious for me to go through the com go through all my videos and check. Um, the first portion of this video is going to be a textbook definition of your sun moon sign, followed by laying out the main cards in their positions. Uh, afterwards, I will stop the video and you can go ahead and make your interpretations based on my layout I had from the energies I put into your cards. Or you can click on the Vimeo link below and purchase the second portion of the video where I will have my interpretation of the cards in addition to clarifiers, which ends up being about a 20 minute video. Um, a couple things to mention. If this resonates with you, if you like my style of reading, consider a personal reading. My info and my rates are listed below. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. And then also I wanted to point out I am on Instant Go, but I am doing text only. So if you have the Instant Go app and you need a quick question, quick answer to a quick question, you can text me and I will answer within 24 to 48 hours. So let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels and Divine Guides Universe, can you please provide... Oh, Let's read your textbook definition first, shall we? <laughs> so, Sun and Libra, Moon and Scorpio people, you place a high value on being rational and diplomatic, and you try always to stay objective and just in your assessments. Scorpio fervor, aggressiveness, and passion, however, smolder under that cool and calm exterior you present. You have an inner nature that is motivated and obstinate, and although your style might be that of peace inside lies the motivation and intention of a warrior. Your combination joins peaceable and tactful Libra with forceful, enigmatic, and aggressive Scorpio. All this means is that you're a very multifaceted person. You probably show many of the qualities of the Libra outwardly and strive for peace, accord, and inner tranquility. With your friends and colleagues, you are peaceful and thoughtful. At home in your environment, you are relaxed with yourself. Regardless of how delightful, naive, and youthful you seem on the exterior, when the time comes to take charge and exploit a personal gain, you can quickly come out as a critical, upfront, and astute individual. Less observant people are caught totally unaware, and you usually end up shocking even your closest friends. Having conceived a goal or idea, you almost never rest until you have followed it through to the end. There is nothing idle or careless about you, but like all Libras, you really enjoy distraction and recreation. Being involved with others is something you have a strong need and desire for. You often reject the sound advice that others give you. It's a good idea to keep your mind open, even though it's important to value your own personal views, especially in times of pressure. Your combination has the potential of academic and spiritual awakening on a big scale and great promise if it is pursued faithfully. With your good leadership, you can assist in paving the way to self-realization as long as the approach is balanced. Presidents Dwight Eisenhower and Jimmy Carter are two examples of this combination. You most likely feel you have a purpose in life and are motivated to assist people and to change outmoded attitudes. You have strong political and diplomatic abilities because of your instinctive knowledge of what makes others tick. Your philosophy is generally realistic and careful, although you are a positive person by nature. You can be fairly close to a different perspective, and at times people think you're intolerant, even though you may think of yourself as open-minded. So, let's see what we have going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your clarity, your wisdom, and insight for Libra Sun, Scorpio Moons? What are they? What surrounds them at this present time? What will they be leaving in 2017? What's something they can expect in 2018? What are the energies they should focus on in 2018? And what are the general outcome or energies for 2018? For people with Sun in Libra, Moon in Scorpios, okay? So what surrounds our Libra Sun, Scorpio Moons at this present time? You guys have the King of Cups in reversed. And what did Libra Sun, Scorpio Moons, what did they leave 
in 2018? What did they leave behind in 2018? Or what are the influences from 2017 they passed out of? You have the Six of Pentacles in the upright. And something you guys can expect in 2018, we have the Page of Pentacles in the upright. Energies you should focus on. We have the Four of Wands in the upright. And then finally, general energies for 2018 Oop. for Libra Scorpios. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. So if you guys want to see what's up in regards to focusing your energy on laying down roots and news of money in 2018, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below and we can go over that in further detail. Otherwise, I wish the best to my Libra Sun, Scorpio Moons um, for 2018 and adios from Veronica Garnett. Adios, guys. Bye.